Hey lovelies, it's Dom. Hope everybody's enjoying their Friday. I came across some very interesting news today um, on the website straight from the A and I wanted to share with you guys. Um, you may have heard about it, but um, <clears throat> in the past couple of days, so many things have transpired with this whole R. Kelly debacle. And one of our favorite journalists is now under fire, Mr. Torre. Now you've probably seen Torre. Um, I think I want to say he did some commentary back in the day for MTV or um, VH1, but I know he did a interview with R. Kelly back in 2008. Uh, well, apparently now some information has surfaced that a young lady uh, who used to do makeup, maybe I'm not sure she did his makeup, but. Um, well, yeah, she did do his makeup. She was his makeup artist, Danny. She actually came out and said that he actually um, sexually assaulted her, um, which is so sad. Her name is Demia. Well, let's see. Danny is her name. She's a makeup artist. And she made a uh, post on social media. I'm going to read it to you guys. Every Monday, I used to work with him on a show in 2017, and he couldn't stop asking me to do anal. Torre. That's all bad, brother. How I looked naked if I had sex over the weekend, what it would be like to fuck me, what his cum would look like on my face. I had to have the crew stay in the room with me while I got him ready. And when I left, I called HR. He got fired instantly. He wrote a huge apology for doing that in my DMs. Still have it. He did a 2020 shoot in 2018 and I was there and he, and he walked out. He told the producer that he was embarrassed because he was inappropriate with a staff member. He really needs to take a seat. If this, I'm going to say allegedly, but this, if this is true, then Torre does really need to take a seat. Uh, a couple of days ago, I was on my way back home from the grocery store and I was listening to Rude Jude. He actually comes on Sirius XM and they had Tori on there and he spoke about um, that infamous interview he did with R. Kelly in 2008 on BET where he asked R. Kelly, do you like teenagers? And R. Kelly went on to say, now when you say teenagers, what, what age do you mean? So, you know, and... And the whole hype of this whole R. Kelly scandal, we're starting to see Tory speak out about it. And, you know, he has a lot of thoughts of it and opinions on it. And, you know, it really saddens me. You know, if this is true, I'm going to say allegedly. Well, actually, he responded to the young lady. Uh, she actually kept an email that he had sent her. And he says, look, I've learned a lot watching this happen. The way I teased you is no longer funny to me. I thought that was interesting that he said teased you. Like, did he mean, you know, he thought they were kidding around? Perhaps he thought that she was into him? Like, what did he mean when he said the way I teased you was not funny? But then he goes on to say, I had no idea how rampant it is, how much it gets in a working woman's way, and how I was contributing to a whole environment of BS. I hate that. I'm not playing like that with, it, with you or anyone else. I knew I was playing an aggressive game with you and I thought you were, uh, I thought you knew where I was coming from, but I wouldn't put you or me in that position again. It was stupid and obnoxious and I feel bad about it. Um, you know, Tori, you're a grown ass man and you've been in media for quite some time and you're so outspoken about R. Kelly and, you know, the BS that he's done. And now to come up to find out, you know, you have this young lady that says, hey, you know, he has been um, sexually harass harassing me at one point as well. Well, you know, are there other women, Tori, that would have this to say about you? It's just really sad, you know. And on the other hand, it's like I have a 14-year-old son. And so I'm constantly telling him to make sure, you know, you respect a woman's boundaries. You know, I know he's going to want to start to date here soon. And it's just very imperative that he knows to respect, you know, a young lady's space. You know, do not touch her inappropriately. And it's almost like, you know, <laughs> do these young men, you know, and adult men, do they need to start saying, hey, if we're going to have sex, you know, 
We need to document that you were in agreement with it. And I'm not being whatever. I'm just saying that, you know, every little, not little thing, but every, they, men and, you know, men need to be careful. Little boys need to be careful. Young men need to be careful because, you know, again, I'm not saying that women are being raped or taken advantage of. Certainly they are. But some girls are coming out saying that, you know, oh, you raped me or you tried to have sex with me when it was, in fact, mutual. Um, Torre has lost some credibility with me. He is known to be a journalist that, uh, you know, does research and can provide information about a situation. And, you know, he's always very detailed. And like I said, since this whole R. Kelly scandal has came out, you know, he has made it a point to really speak on it. And so it's it it's very sad to hear that there's a, a victim out there now that's talking about uh, some of his discrepancies. So that's all I have on that, guys. Um, don't for, forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Definitely give me a thumbs up. And I'd like to hear from you guys in the comments. Have a good one. Bye.